she just had an amazing response. Like, amazing release with her sinuses, and she just like, was really impressed. And she, I don't know, it just looked like she was wowed mm -hmm. by it. Which, mm -hmm. you don't typically get that with a chiropractic adjustment. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, that's what I want in my office, is to create that wow experience. Mm -hmm. And it was awesome to see that mm -hmm. with her. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We try to work with our students one-on-one, -on -one, making sure that they're very comfortable with providing the treatment. On their first visit, talk about how impressed they are, how different they feel. And, and it's very consistent. I'd say probably 90% of the people we saw today, and we saw a fair number of people today, mm -hmm. had a great experience. Mm -hmm. responded so well that it's, uh, it's highly motivating. I take pride in the fact that my students will be able to start immediately changing lives when they get back to their office on Monday morning. I felt it. I went in Germany with saw really, really what I perceive as being difficult patients. If I had seen them in my chiropractic patient, my chiropractic uh, uh, load, I would have thought these are people that are going to be extremely difficult to work with. And we all have those patients, you know, where they come in the door and you say, oh, these people are going to take so long, and what am I going to do to help them? I mean, it's a small percentage of your practice that is composed of these kinds of people. But to have something that addresses those kinds of problems when typically nothing else will, or a few things will, or at least not very well. I mean, this is just, it's, it's a real pearl, a real pearl. And I think if you're time investing it with us, this type of work is extremely sensitive. It's just not something that can be taught in a weekend course. And there's definitely an art and there's definitely a science to treating patients this way. I make sure to work with each doctor to make sure they're competent with the diagnosis and delivery of FCR. Website and I found that you do FCR. So I compared the two. And um, you know, I'm into neurology and so are you. And I really like the fact that it's more chiropractic driven. You know, mm -hmm. from the standpoint of neurology. I've designed the course to start out with two days of classroom time. Then we move into the clinic. We see real patients. We see real problems. I started looking around and I found you. Mm -hmm. I saw your videos and I saw you were neurologically based, chiropractically based. And I saw the results that the people, the patients that you were treating, God, it was just so impressive. It just, it just felt right. You know, it just felt like that's, that's a great direction to go. I want to share FCR with other doctors. I've seen such dramatic changes in my practice that I just know there's so many people out there suffering needlessly. And it seems like this treatment is the only thing that will fix them, where the cause of their problem seems to be. How did that Parkinson's patient respond? It was extraordinary. It was extraordinary. I mean, he was weaving. He looked like uh, Muhammad Ali in his heyday, you know, ducking and weaving. And, but right after, right after the FCR treatment, I mean, he was rock solid. He was standing right there. He didn't wobble. He didn't shake. No mm -hmm. tremors. Mm -hmm. It was really, really satisfying. So not only did the treatment go extremely well with great releases uh, that he commented on and was pleased about, but the response when we stood him up and observed his after effects, I mean, it was just... I think it was a little surprising to him. It was surprising to me. Mm -hmm. And he seemed a little surprised by it too. Certainly surprised, as I recall. So, so he's got a right hemisphericity. I've been adjusting the uh, left side of your neck, correct? That's correct. Yeah. You guys concur? I'm with you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Okay. Look straight ahead at the tape. Look straight ahead at the tape. You guys see that? Yeah. Okay. He doesn't prefix going down. And then, um. See that? Hypokinetics? Mm -hmm. See that? Yep. That's not an idea. Can you try one more time? Yeah. If you want to get closer, you can get a little closer behind me. There you Good. Go. That's wow. it. Wow. Oh, 
Nice job. Good you know job. what? That was Mm hmm. And, uh, you're so grim today. You look really. What? You seem. You're not moving around much. Well, you don't feel more neurologically balanced today than you did yesterday? Yep. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. It's considerable. Yep. Does it have any change in the meds? No, I took the same amount of meds today. Are you feeling good about what we did yesterday? Yeah. I'm a little good about it. Okay. I'm kind of shocked here. I'm looking at you and it's pretty amazing. Good. Yeah. Shocked is good. <laughs> Let's take a look at your uh, optokinetics here. Back up just a little bit. And look straight at the tape. Look at that, guys. That's better. Boy, that's huge. Only those who risk going too far can know how far they can go.